Hi, my name is Jay Osa. I coach people when with their speeches and I hope at some point I can help you too. I want to talk about a person that we can all learn from regarding how to give speeches, especially in front of cameras. And I think this person does it so well that we have to study him because there's a lot we can learn from this person. Not to keep you in suspense any longer, the person I'm referring to is the senior senator from New York. His name is Chuck Schumer. And depending on how the Democrats do in this upcoming election, he could become the next Senate majority leader. But one thing Chuck Schumer is really good with is media. He knows how to get headlines. He has perfected it. The only other person that I think who may be a little bit better than Chuck Schumer is probably Donald Trump. So he's at the probably at the highest level we're talking about. And he does a lot of things well, but I'm going to focus on two here. One is his ability to use sound bites, why he uses sound bites. And second is the method that he uses, that I'll call the Chuck Schumer method, and when he applies them. He uses it for all occasions, but, uh, but before I do that, let me just kind of give you a little intro to this. I think Chuck Schumer has figured it out. And since then, there are a lot of politicians who have now copied him. When you're a politician, you have to be visible. Not visible like in front of a camera, but visible to the point that people have to see you doing your job. If they're not seeing you doing your job, people out there think you're doing nothing. So one thing Chuck Schumer has done is that if I'm not in front of the cameras, then as far as his constituents are concerned, I don't even exist. And in fact, there's a joke, a, a famous joke uh, in Washington, D.C., and it goes something like this. The most dangerous place to be in Capitol Hill is between Chuck Schumer and the television cameras. I think Bob Dole might have uh, said that once, and now everybody uses it. It sounds funny, but, you know, it's, it's good, right? That's a good thing. Today with the social media and media, if you're not media savvy, it's almost like you don't exist. So he understands that. Chuck Schumer really has perfected this. Okay. The first thing that he does is his ability to use sound bites. And why does he do this? He does it for a simple reason. If he's a politician and he's speaking, he's generating news. The media is going to pick it up. But he wants to make it easier for the media. So he relies on sound bites so that he's already doing the work for the media outlets like AP or, or whomever, whoever is uh, covering his uh, uh, events. The media people are always under time pressure. And if you can give them sound bites, then you've already done their work and they'll regurgitate it back. And this is exactly what he does. To give you an example of this, <clears throat> so I was uh, reading this uh, latest issue of uh, the New Yorker magazine, and in it, they do a story about Preet, Preet Bharara, who's the uh, US Attorney of Southern District in New York. It's a very important position. He's the one who brings all these cases against uh, insider trading and uh, uh, corruption in Albany, drug dealers, gangs, etc. It's a very important position. It's a position that many use to get to the next level, like Ralph Giuliani, uh, Mary Jo White, I mean, you name it. Comey, who's currently the FBI. I think Elliot Spitzer might have been there too. So it's a very important position. It's a launching pad to a higher political position. And a lot of people think that he could be the next Attorney General if uh, Hillary Clinton wins. But anyway, 
At one time, uh, Pereira was Chuck Schumer's top aide. And in the article, they mentioned that when uh, Chuck Schumer was chairing the Judiciary Committee, Pereira was responsible for drafting questions to ask at the hearing. And the questions were put in a way with the heavy emphasis on sound bites. And the whole purpose of this was so that media could pick it up and report it the way he wanted it reported. So he understood the importance of using sound bites. Sound bites are catchy, they work, and it also makes other people remember it and it saves them time. So it has a dual purpose. It gets your message across and it's easier for other side to catch it and repeat it the way you want it. So that's his first thing that he's mastered, sound bites, and that's what he wants his eighth to do. The other thing is the Chuck Schumer's media method. <clears throat> now Chuck Schumer is famous, it's something that he started. He always does these uh, press conference on Sunday morning. Why Sunday morning? It's a slow news day. And he will pick some obscure topic and bring some concern to the public. A lot of people think it's grandstanding, but I don't think so. I think as a politician, Chuck Schumer understands that if you're not visible, if people don't see you doing your job, it's almost like you don't even, you're just loafing. So I think he's achieving several things here. People who don't like him, they think he's grandstanding. But look, he's successful and it works. So even though you may not like it, but I think it's effective. It's something I think we can learn from in any kind of job we do. If you're not getting in front of the camera, other people think you're not doing anything. So anyway, he will take an obscure topic and bring attention. It could be something like uh, <clears throat> uh, caffeinated drinks and he'll have a, a mother whose son might have drank four of them and died or something like that. Or some of these uh, laundry detergent gels that look like some kind of candy that kids can mistake and swallow and die. Things like that. Something obscure, but it brings some topic to people's attention and gets headlines because he's doing it on Sunday. Since then, a lot of politicians have now copied it. But there is a method that he uses that is very effective. And I'll call it the Chuck Schumer media method, but it could apply to anything. And he uses the four Ps. <clears throat> the first P is he presents the problem. The second P is he personalizes the problem. The third P is he presents the solution. And the fourth P is personalizes the solution. Okay, so those are the four P's. So let me give you a quick example, <clears throat> something to do with public speaking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to present the problem. And the problem is that people have tremendous fear in giving a public speech. They're so fearful that they will avoid it or do just about anything to get out of giving a speech. Okay, problem, I just presented the problem. I'll now personalize the problem. I know exactly what this feels like. When I was at my first job, month into a job, I had to give a status report. When my name was called, I completely blanked out. I couldn't even utter a single word. It may have taken a minute maybe even less than a minute, but it felt like eternity. A colleague of mine had to take my paper and basically read everything that I had written. I still to this day remember that experience. It was frightening and it happened to me. Okay, so far I have presented the problem and now I've personalized the problem. Now I'm gonna present the solution. I came across this course from Coursera called Introduction to Public Speaking. It's an online course. You can work at your own pace. It's convenient. It's free. And it's taught by 
an excellent instructor from a prestigious university, University of Washington, and it's on a Coursera platform, and they are the leaders in providing online courses, higher educational online courses. So there's the solution. Take that course. Now I'm going to personalize the solution. I took that course, and I recorded the four speeches in that course that you have to record. Introductory, impromptu, informative, persuasive. I liked the course so much that after that I took it four other times. I've taken that course in its entirety five times now. And I think this course is excellent and it works. Okay, so those are the four things. You personalize, uh, present the problem, you personalize the problem, you present the solution, and you personalize the solution. And that's the Chuck Schumer's media method that we can all use for anything that we're doing. So to close it out, I know a lot of people make fun of Chuck Schumer, you know, with this famous joke, the most dangerous place to be in the Capitol Hill is between Chuck Schumer and the television camera. Well, I think that's something we should be aiming for. The most dangerous place for anybody to be is between you and the, the television camera that exists right here. And there's nothing wrong with that. Folks, if you're not showing people you're doing something, as far as they're concerned, you're not doing anything. So get in front of the camera, learn from Chuck Schumer, become media savvy, become camera savvy, learn how to use sound bites effectively, and use his method, the 4P method of presenting the problem, personalize the problem, present the solution, and personalize the solution. Try it and let me know how it works. And thank you for watching.